Good morning. Buenos días. <laughs> Pensaban que no hablaba inglés, ¿verdad? You thought I didn't speak English, right? Pero ese es el final. Uh, but that's all. <laughs> Gracias a todos ustedes. Thanks to all of you. Por permitirnos estar aquí en esta mañana. For allowing us to be here this morning. En el día de hoy me acompaña mi esposa. Today I'm happy to have my wife with me. También la esposa del hermano Dan está aquí. And also happy to have my wife with us. Y as gracias well. al hermano Dan que viene de Indiana para interpretar. And he's thanking me for coming from Indiana to interpret. Le invito que aprendan español y ya no tenemos que usar. He said if you'll just learn Spanish then you won't have to any need of me. Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> gracias hermano otra vez. Thank you again. Por permitirnos estar con ustedes. For allowing us to be here with you. Y disfrutar de estas canciones tan lindas. And to be able to enjoy these beautiful songs. Y de la amistad de ustedes. And to have the fellowship with you. Hoy voy a tratar un tema acerca de Job. Today I'm going to be able to speak to you about Job. Es el tema que han estado tratando. It's the subject that you've been studying about. En todos estos días. Uh, during the last few weeks. Pero a mí me ha tocado la mejor parte. But I've... Uh, got the best part to talk about. Porque me tocó la parte cuando Job se encuentra con Dios. Because it's the part that talks about when God uh, showed up. Cuando Dios aparece. And when God shows up. Y todos nosotros debemos saber. And all of us need to understand. Que cuando Dios aparece en nuestra vida. That when God appears and he shows up in our lives. Todo es diferente. Everything becomes different. La vida se divide en dos etapas. Life can be divided into two parts. Antes de encontrarte con Cristo. The part before Jesus Christ that comes into our lives. Y después que te encuentras con el Señor. And after we have that encounter with the Lord. Cuando tu vida se encuentra con el Señor. When your life is found in Jesus Christ. Todo es diferente. Everything becomes different. Y no podemos. And we cannot. Pensar que no podemos sufrir. Think that we're not going to go through suffering. El justo también llora. Because even the just weep. Dios puede utilizar a cualquiera de nosotros. God can use any one of us. Porque nosotros somos de Él. Because we belong to Him. Él nos compró con su sangre. He bought us with His blood. Y puede utilizar a cualquiera de sus hijos. And He can use any one of His children that He chooses to. Para cualquier prueba. So whatever trial that we go through, Pero debe entender, but you need to understand que nunca estará solo. that you will never be alone. El Señor ha prometido una compañía permanente. He has promised to always be with us. Estaré con vosotros todos los días. He said to us that he will always be with us all about the days of our lives. Entonces tenemos que ponernos en la mano de Dios. And so we need to put ourselves into his hands. Quiero hablar un poco de Job. I'd like to talk to you this morning about Job. Era un hombre bueno. He was a good man. De, lleno de mucha bendición. He had a lot of blessings in his life. Un hombre justo. He was a man who was righteous before God. Un hombre honrado y fiel. He was honored and he was also faithful. Padre de siete hijos. He had seven sons. Tres hijas. And three daughters. Y muy rico. And he was really rich. Su vida estaba realizada. His life was actualized. ¿Qué más se le puede pedir a la vida? What more can you ask out of life? Pero Dios tenía un propósito con ese hombre justo. But God had another plan for this just man. De repente, all of a sudden, una tragedia golpea su familia. A tragedy knocked against his, his family. Sus bueyes son robados. His donkeys were stolen. Sus criados son asesinados. His servants were murdered. Un rayo mata sus ovejas. A lightning strike killed all of his sheep. Les roban su camello. His camels were stolen. Sus hijos mueren en una tormenta. A storm came and killed all of his children. Y de repente queda cubierto de llaga. And then he was covered completely with sores in his body. ¿Quién puede pensar que a un hombre justo y fiel le puede pasar esto? Who could think that a man who is righteous and just could go through that kind of suffering? Pero debemos entender But we must understand que nosotros somos instrumento de Dios that each one of us are just instruments of God y que él utiliza nuestra vida como él quiere and that God can use our lives in any way that he chooses solo tiene que esperar el final but we have to just wait for the end to come y Dios te mostrará cuál es su plan and God will demonstrate to you what his plan has been 
Durante los días tristes de Job, during the sad days of Job's life, él se formuló varias preguntas. He had a number of questions that came to his mind. Y nosotros hiciéramos lo mismo. And we would do the same thing, wouldn't we? Si pasáramos por algo tan tormentoso, if we had gone through some kind of a storm like he was going through, podemos decir, Señor, no soy yo un hombre justo. Wouldn't we go before God and say, Look, God, I am such a good man. ¿Por qué permite que eso pase a mí? Why are you letting all these bad things happen to me? ¿Por qué tengo que pasar por esto? We'd be asking, why are these things happening in my life? Y él hizo varias preguntas cuando estaba en esta situación. And Job had a number of questions when all these things were going on in his life. Y una de las que él hizo fue, And one of the questions that he had, ¿Quién puede limpiar lo inmundo? Was, who can clean the filthiness of our lives? Y Cristo contestó esa pregunta. But Jesus Christ is the one who answers that question. Cristo puede limpiar lo inmundo. Because Jesus Christ can wash away the filthiness of our lives. Because he can cleanse any person who has sin in their life. La sangre de Cristo no limpia de todo pecado. Because the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us of all sin. José sentía inmundo. Job felt as a filthy person. Temía presentarse ante Dios. And he knew that he would have to stand before God. Pero ahora nosotros no tenemos que tener miedo de presentarnos ante Dios. But we must understand that when we go to face God and stand in his presence, we need not fear. Si llegamos solo ante Dios, Now if we go alone before God, la sentencia de condenación será segura. Then it is sure that we will be condemned. Pero si lleva el abogado, But if we take our attorney with y Cristo us, se ha ofrecido como abogado, and Jesus Christ has offered to be that attorney for us, Jesús dijo, Jesus Christ said, si alguien necesita abogado, If anyone needs an attorney, Abogado tiene para con el Padre. I am your attorney with God, the Father. A Jesucristo el justo. Jesus Christ is the only just one. No llegue solo a la presencia and de so Dios. when you go before God and be in his presence, don't go alone. Será sentenciado a la condenación. Because you will be condemned. Y no necesita más nada. But you don't need anything else. Solo necesita a Cristo. All you need is Jesus Christ. Porque el que tiene a Cristo tiene la vida. Because if you have Jesus Christ, you have life. In you. Job was thinking about how short life is. But Jesus Christ came, came to give us life and life in abundance. Job thought, where do people go after they die? But now we understand where we go after death. Because the Lord went ahead of us and has prepared a place for each of us. Things that our eyes have never seen, Ni oído yo. and things that our ears have never heard before. Es lo que Dios tiene That's para what nosotros. God has prepared for each of us. Entonces, sabemos dónde vamos. And so we know where we're going. Sabemos la medida inclusive de la ciudad donde vamos a vivir. We even know how big the city is that we're going to. Él pensaba en la pérdida de su familia. Job had been thinking about the loss of his family. En la tormenta. He had been thinking about the storm of en life. En la tristeza. He thought about the sadness that he was experiencing. Un hombre lleno de llanto. A man who was filled with weeping in his life. Pero un hombre confiando en Dios. But at the same time he was trusting in God. Si está pasando por una prueba. If you were going through a trial in your life. Entiende que tú estás en la mano de Dios. You need to understand that you are in the hand of God. Debe entender una cosa. You need to understand something. Tú no eres el dueño de tu vida. And that is that you're not the owner of your own life. Cristo es el dueño de tu vida. Because Jesus Christ is the owner of your life. Él te compró con su sangre. Because he bought you, he purchased you with his own blood. Tú estabas hipotecado en la mano de Satanás. We have been mortgaged, we had been mortgaged over to Satan. Pero él pagó el precio. But Jesus Christ paid the price. Y no liberó. And he has liberated us. Ahora tiene que decir, And now we must say, Señor, haz de mí lo que tú quieras. Lord, do with me whatever you will. Estoy en tu mano. Because I'm in your hands. Gobierna mi vida. Rule over my life. Eso es lo que el Señor quiere. And that's what the Lord wants. Él ha prometido compañía permanente. And he has promised to be with us always. Y ha prometido que nunca estará solo. And he has promised that we will never be alone. Yo estoy con vosotros todos los días. Because he has said, I will be with you all the days. Hasta el fin. Until the very end. Tú puedes alejarte de Dios. You might go away from God. Pero él está siempre cerca de ti. But he's always near each one of us. Él dice, llámame que 
estoy siempre cercano. He says to us, call to me and I will respond. Si está en problema, if you're going through a difficulty, tiene que llamar al Señor. all you have to do is call out to God él nunca se aleja de ti. because he never leaves you Aunque tú te alejes de él, even though you have left him at times. Permanecerá cerca. He always stays close by. Qué difícil es cuando estamos en apuro how difficult it is when we're going through something difficult in our lives y que puede and we think about somebody who might be able to help us in that situation el y lo tiene and we call their cell phone and it's turned off no está en la casa. and they're not at home either la batería del celular se le descargó. we think maybe their, their cell phone battery went dead Pero el celular del Señor but the cell phone of God está 24 is horas. always open 24 hours a day Solo tiene que llamarle. All we have to do is call out to him. Solo tiene que pedirle, Señor, ven a mí. All we have to do is call out to him and say, God, come to us and help me, Lord. Y él te va a and he will respond. Toca a la puerta. Call or knock on, he's always knocking on our door. Y se te abrirá. And he says he's knocking on our door, and if we just open, he'll come in. Todo lo que nosotros necesitamos. And everything that we need. Es un encuentro con el Señor. Is to have an encounter with the Lord. Lo que Job necesitaba. What Job needed. Era que el Señor apareciera en su vida. Was for God to show up in his life. Y apareció. And God did show up y in lo his bendijo. life. And he blessed him. Pero quiero enseñarte en esta mañana. But I'd like to teach you this morning. Que Dios puede aparecer en cualquier lugar. That God can show up in any place. Él tiene en control todas las cosas. Because he is in control of everything. No se le escapa nada. Nothing escapes his sight. Y quiero compartir varios ejemplos. And I'd like to share a number of examples with you of that. Que pueda entender. So that you can understand. Que no hay un solo lugar donde el Señor no pueda aparecer. That there's no aparecer. place that God cannot show up. Pídele a Dios. Ask God. Y dice, Señor, quiero que aparezca en mi vida. We need to ask him, God, I need you to show up in my life. Tu vida será diferente. And then your life will be different. Moisés es un ejemplo. Example, Moses. Moisés tuvo que salir del palacio. Moses had to leave the palace. Él se crió desde niño en el palacio. He had grown up as a child in the palace. Pero por su fe tuvo que salir. But because of his faith in God, he had to leave. Y irse al desierto. And he went out to the desert. Y del palacio a cuidar ovejas. And from the palace out to take care of sheep. Pero su corazón era bueno delante de Dios. But his heart was right with God. Y Dios lo tenía presente. And God was always present with him. De repente him. cuando cuidaba las ovejas. And while he was taking care of the sheep one day. Alcanza a ver un ángel como una llama de fuego. All of a sudden there was an angel who appeared in a flame of fire. Fue Dios que apareció en su vida. That was God showing up in his life. De pastor de oveja. From being a shepherd of sheep a ser un que va a a su to become a leader who would liberate the people of God. Dios el del de God was listening to the clamor of the people who were calling out for God to save y them. Un de bueno. And they needed someone who had a good heart. Y ese era Moisés. And that was Moses. Su vida fue diferente. His life was changed. Y la vida de cualquier persona que se encuentra con Dios es diferente. And the life that encounters the Lord is different. José. For example, José Joseph. lo metieron en una citerna. Joseph was thrown into a well. Lo vendieron como esclavo. And he was sold as a slave. Cae en la cárcel. He was uh, put into prison. Pero de repente and then all of a sudden, Dios aparece en su vida. God showed up in his life. Y es el virrey de Egipto. And then he became next to the king of the old Dios Egypt. Aparece, because when God shows hace up, cosa grande. he does things that are great and marvelous. Lo que el Señor quiere, and what the Lord wants solamente, is just this, que fiel, is that we continue to be faithful. Que no blasfeme contra Dios. He wants us not to complain or blaspheme. Si ha perdido tu casa, if you've lost your home, si ha perdido tu carro. If you've lost your, si your ha car, perdido tu trabajo. Maybe you've lost your job. Sigue fiel a Dios. Continue to be faithful to God. No blasfeme. Don't blaspheme against God. Ponte en su mano. Put yourself in God's hand. Que Dios te duplicará las cosas. And God will duplicate everything that you've had. In y verá la gloria and de Dios. And you will see the glory of God revealed. Qué bueno es el Señor. How great God is. Jesús apareció en un cementerio. Jesus Christ showed up at a cemetery. 
cemetery. Un hombre que vivía desnudo en los cementerios. And there was a man who had been living out there naked in the cemetery. Y él se golpeaba con piedras. And he was hitting himself with rocks. Todo el mundo le temía. And all the world was afraid of him. Hasta que se encontró con Jesús. That was until he encountered Jesus. Cuando Dios aparece. Because when God shows up, todo es diferente. everything becomes different. No importa en qué circunstancia esté tu vida. It doesn't matter what kinds of circumstances you're going through in your life. No importa qué profundo haya caído. It doesn't matter how far you have fallen. El Señor te puede levantar. Because God can raise you up. Lo que necesita. What you need. Es un encuentro con el Señor. Is to have an encounter with God. Es que el Señor aparezca en tu vida. You need for the Lord to show up in your life. Del cementerio. From the cemetery, a predicar. he went out to preach. Jesus le dijo, Jesus said to this man, Vete y a tu lo He que said, yo go back home ti. and start telling what God has done for you in your life. Eso es bueno. This is great, isn't Debemos it? Contarle a la gente que somos felices. We need to be able to tell people how joyous we are. Somos lo más felices del universo. Because we have the most joy that there is in the universe. Porque tenemos a Dios. Because we have God. Hemos sido perdonado. We have been forgiven. Hemos sido comprado por Cristo. We have been bought by Jesus Christ. Entonces somos felices. And so, because of that, we are joyous. Si no falta cualquier cosa, Whatever we lack, Jesus dijo, Jesus said to us, todas las demás cosas serán añadidas. He said, everything else will be added to you. El número uno es el Señor. But the number one thing in our life must be the Lord. Él puede aparecer en cualquier lugar. Because the Lord can show up at any time. En Daniel, capítulo 3, 17, in the book of Daniel, chapter 3, verse 17, hay una historia interesante. there's a very interesting story there. Un rey hace una estatua. There's the king and he puts out a decree. Y por decreto. And by this law. Ordena que nadie puede quedarse sin arrodillarse a la estatua. He said that everyone must bow down before this statue that he was building. Pero de repente hay tres hombres. But there were three men. Que no están dispuestos a hacerlo. Who were not willing to do that. Y alguien va y le dice rey. And someone came to the king and said, hey king. Tenemos tres reverdes aquí. We got three people who are rebellious against you. No quieren adorar la estatua. Because they don't want to uh, bow down before the statue. ¿Cómo es posible esto? And he said, how is that possible? Tráiganlo. Bring them here. ¿Saben ustedes lo que le espera? Do you know what awaits them? Si no aceptan adorar la estatua. And he says, if you don't accept bowing down before the statue. Lo vamos a hornear como pan. We're going to put you in the oven and cook you just like bread. No importa. <laughs> it doesn't matter at all. No importa. It's not important. El Dios que nosotros le servimos. Because the God that we serve. Puede librarnos de tu mano. The God that we serve can free us from you, O okay? King. Y del fuego también. And he can liberate us from the, from ¿Qué the fire. ¿Qué pasaría? What would happen? Si alguien dijera que uno de nosotros lo van a meter mañana en un horno. If somebody came to us and they said to us that because of your faith, you're going to be thrown into the fire tomorrow. Por nuestra fe en Cristo. Because of the faith that you have in Jesus Christ. Pasaríamos la noche pensando. What would we do that night? Would we be... Uh, spending the night thinking. Y posiblemente usaríamos la esposa. Maybe we would be talking to our, our spouse. Amor, yo no me quiero ir por ti. And we might be saying to our wife, listen, I really don't want to go because I love you so much. Yo voy a huir. Uh, I'm voy gonna a run away from here. I'm gonna escape. Pero solo por ti lo hago. And, and I'm just escaping just because of you. Esto jóvenes. But these young men. Dijeron no importa. It's not important. Échanos al fuego. Throw us into the fire. Y dijo el rey, calienten el horno siete veces más. And the king said, okay, let's heat up the, the furnace seven times hotter than before. Y tiren ese problema. And let's get rid of this problem. Let's throw it away. Pero de repente se levantó de mañana. But the next morning, the king got up. A ver el horno. And he looked at the, y the no habían tres. And now there were not three men. Habían there. Cuatro. Now there were four men walking in the fire. And por they el were fuego. just walking through the fire. Y ni una hebra de su cabello se quemó. And not even a hair on the, their head had been singed. Esto fue sorprendente. Wasn't that surprising? El rey se quedó sorprendido. <laughs> the king, he was so amazed and surprised. ¿Cómo es posible? How is that possible? Entonces firmó un decreto. So then he signed a new law. Cualquier persona, whoever, 
que hable en contra del Dios de estos tres hombres against the God of these three young men debe morir that person must die toda la gente and everyone debe servir al Dios de estos tres must hombres must serve the God of these three young men mira como Dios lo usó look how God used these young men mira lo que es el Señor look how great God él is él tiene un plan final because he always has a final plan in mind solo tiene que llegar al final para ver su gloria we just have to get to the end of it to understand the glory that he has prepared como todos nosotros just like all of us debemos llegar al final we must be faithful to the very end dice sé fiel hasta la muerte he says we need to be faithful until death y yo te daré la corona de la vida and then i will give you the crown of life un premio personal it's a reward that is very personal for you yo te daré la corona and he says i will give it to you lo único que necesitamos the only thing that we need es que el señor aparezca en nuestra vida is for god to show up in our lives eso es lo más importante that is the most important thing estamos en panamá trabajando we're in Panama working among some very poor and uh, sad people donde la gente ha sufrido mucho. It's a place where the people have suffered a lot. No hay ninguna familia que no ha perdido dos o tres hijos. There's not a single family there that has not lost two or three children or more. No tienen medicina. They don't have medicine. No tienen escuela. They don't have schools. No tienen alimentación adecuada. They don't have sufficient food. Y qué triste es esto. And how sad that is. Pero nosotros creemos But we believe que le ha llegado la luz. That the light has come to them. Por eso estamos ahí. And that's why we're there. Por eso estamos invitando hermanos que vayan a ayudarnos. And that's why we're inviting people from here to go with us. Porque su vida ha cambiado. Because our lives have been changed. Hay cientos que han cambiado su vida. And down there there are hundreds of people who have Porque been changed. Porque apareció Cristo en esa isla. Because Christ has shown up. Aparecieron los hijos de Dios. So that they can be converted to him and become children of God. Construyendo clínicas. We've been building clinics. Escuelas. Schools. Ayudando a la gente. We've been helping the people. Para la gloria del rey. So that the king will be glorified. Solamente para él. We're doing it just for him. Entonces, hermano. And so, Dios brothers puede and sisters, aparecer en cualquier momento. God can show up at any moment. No te desespere. Don't be discouraged. Él no te olvida. God has not forgotten. Él murió por ti. He died for you. Él no te debe más nada a ti. He doesn't owe you another single thing. Él entregó todo lo que tenía. He gave everything that he had for us. Su propio hijo lo entregó por God ti. gave even his own son for us. Y nosotros, ¿qué vamos a entregar al Señor? And so what are we going to give back to him? Pídale al Señor. Ask him. Ven a mí. Come to me. Quiero un encuentro contigo. I want to have that encounter with Quiero you. Que en mi vida. I want you to show up in my life. Si Dios aparece, and if God shows up, todo será diferente. everything will be different. Cuando Dios apareció en la vida de Job. Because when God appeared and showed up in the life of Job, Qué maravilloso. wasn't it marvelous what happened? Terminó sus calamidades. His calamities were over. Aparecieron sus familias. He had his family. Apareció todo lo que tenía. He had everything that he had had before and y more. Y Dios le permitió disfrutar todas las cosas. And God enabled him to enjoy all the things. Pero tenía that he had que esperar. Him. But he had to wait. Hermano, and brother, nunca crea. Don't ever believe tú no está en el pensamiento de Dios. that you are not in God's mind Él because, murió you are, por ti. because he allowed his son to die for y you. Quiero compartir un último encuentro. And I want to share one other encounter with God. Y me gusta mucho este encuentro. And I really like this encounter with God. Este era una señora, una viuda. We're talking about a widow. Su esposo ya había muerto. Her husband had died. Tenía un único hijo. She had just one son. Pero su hijo muere. But her son dies. De repente, and all of a sudden, una multitud lo lleva al cementerio a enterrarlo. The multitude is with her and they're taking her son off to be buried in the cemetery. Pero aparece Jesús. But then Jesus comes. Y le dice, deténganse. And he says, stop right there. Cuando Jesús dice, deténganse. And when Jesus says, stop. Deténganse. You better stop. <laughs> Sí. That's right. Entonces, detengan todos. Stop right there, all of you. Va y le dice a la señora, no llore. And then he goes up to the widow and he says, don't cry. ¿Qué pensaría esta señora? 
What would that woman be thinking at that moment? Perdí a mi esposo. I've lost my husband. Voy a enterrar a mi hijo. I'm getting ready to bury my only son. Y este me dice que no llore. And this man tells me not to cry. Va a enterrar el amor de su vida. I, I'm burying the love of my life here. Lo que le garantizaba el sustento. This young man was the one who was guaranteeing uh, her care for the rest of her life. Pero ella nunca se imaginó but she never imagined que el único que puede decir no llore that the only person who is authorized to ever say don't es cry el Señor Jesús. is Jesus Christ. Él te dice a ti, no llore. Cuando, or, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Él te dice no llore. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes I just lose it. When Jesus says to us, don't cry, es el único que te puede dar alegría. he's the only one that can turn our weeping into joy. Es el único que puede darte esperanza. He's the only one who can give us hope. Es el único que te puede resolver tu problema. He's the only one who can resolve the problems that we have. Esta viuda, this widow, nunca se imaginó, had never imagined que este encuentro con el Señor, that this encounter with the Lord, le iba a devolver la esperanza, was going to bring back to her that joy. No and hope. se imaginó jamás, she never could have imagined, que en vez de llegar a llorar a su casa, that instead of getting back home and weeping, regresó con su hijo, that he, she would be going back to her home with her de son, felicidad. and filled with joy. Jesús se acercó. Jesus Christ came up to her. Al ferretro, he came up to the casket. Y solo lo tocó. And all he did was touch the casket. Y fue suficiente and that was enough. Para que el joven se parara y so se that the, de pies. the young man was resurrected and came back to life. Lo único que tú necesitas, and the only thing that you need. Y lo que nosotros todos necesitamos, and the only thing that each one of us needs. Es un toque de la mano de Dios. Is just the touch of God in our él lives. Tiene la solución. Because he has the solution. Él puede ayudarnos. He can help. Help us. Él es el único. He's the only one that can. De aquí en adelante, from here on out, terminó el llanto. The weeping has been done away with. Regresó la esperanza. The hope had come back into her life. Jesús puede aparecer en cualquier momento. And Jesus Christ can show up at any moment. Y no importa por el camino que vaya. And it doesn't matter what road we're on. Debe decirle, Señor, quiero you, que aparezca en mi vida. You need to say to him. Lord, I need you to appear and show up in my Como life. A Moisés. Just the way you showed up in Moses' life. Como puede aparecer en cualquier circunstancia. I know that you can show up in any circumstance at en all. En el I know that you can show up en there at the cemetery. Lugar. I know that you can show up any place at all. Solo tiene que ponerte en su mano. You need to just understand that you have to put yourself in God's hands. Y si Dios permite and if God allows que un justo sufra, that a just man like Tiene Job would suffer, con él. And, but God had a plan for his life. Espera el final. He had to wait until the end of it to come. Nosotros hemos pasado por prueba. And we've gone through trials and difficulties. Pero también hemos disfrutado los resultados. But we've been able to enjoy the results of that. De la prueba. Going through the trials. Tiene que hacerlo. And we need to do that. El Señor dice, sé fiel hasta la muerte. And the Lord says to us that we need to be faithful unto death. Y quiero finalizar. And I would like to finish here. Pensando en Job. Thinking about Job. Toda su tristeza. All of his sadness. Y su angustia. All of his anxiety. Pero después reconoció y dijo. And he understood at the end. Nunca pensé que era así. And he said, I didn't know that it could be like this. No pude comprender lo que estaba pasando. He didn't know what was going to be happening. Y el Señor entonces aparece. But the Lord showed up. Y le duplica todo. And he multiplied all of his y blessings. Y no solamente le duplica todas las cosas. And he not only gave him back everything that he had had before. Sino que le da 140 it. años de vida. But besides giving him back all of those things that he had lost. Para he also gave him 100 and, 140 years more to be able to enjoy all all that that he had given to him. Y que todos sus amigos and all of his friends understood then lo que Dios estaba haciendo. what God had been doing. Ponte en la mano de Dios. Put yourself in God's hand. Pídele que aparezca en tu vida. Ask him to show up in your life. Y te garantizo que será diferente. And I can guarantee you that your life will be different. Dale tu corazón sin reserva a él. Give him your heart completely without reservation. Y verá los resultados. And you will see the results of that. Que Dios te bendiga en esta mañana. May God bless you this Gracias morning. Gracias a todos. Thank you to all of you. Voy a orar.
Let's pray. Padre, Heavenly Father, te damos las gracias en esta mañana. We thank you this morning por darnos la oportunidad de estar aquí. For giving us the opportunity to be here. Con estos hijos tuyos. With these children of yours. Te pido una bendición especial. I thank you, Father, and I pray for a very para special blessing iglesia. on this church. Para que tu Dios so that you, God, dirija todas las cosas. will direct all things. Señor, todo estamos en tu mano. Father, all of us are in your hands. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Que Dios le bendiga. May God bless you.